want to learn how to do demographic bidding adjustments in Google Ads? Well, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do them in this video, let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from Key Commerce. Now we're in our Google Ads account and we're gonna look at demographic bidding adjustments, okay? So something to keep in mind before we get started is that these are only available for Google search and display campaigns. They're not there for shopping campaigns. It sucks, I wish that they were, but they're gonna be used in here for your search and display campaign. So here I have a search campaign, really basic campaign that's been running for quite a while. So we're gonna have some really juicy data. So let's go over here to demographics. And so here, let me pull down the, the font. So, so you make sure you, you show the graph. So this graph is gonna be really interesting because it's gonna tell you a lot of information about the different demographics. So you, before I get into everything over here, so we have the different demographics here that you can look at. So age, gender, parental status, household income. And what you wanna do here is that, yeah, this is great. We can see it all here for ROAS and conversion value, but what we really, you really wanna play around with these and see how it differs between each different group. So for example, conversion rate would be really interesting. Let me just get this out of the way so it's not, uh, not confusing. So just looking at it one by one, we can see here that conversion rate for 1824 is much higher than the others. So it goes, and it goes down all the way down here and we can just ignore unknown over here. But yeah, that's really, really interesting. So we can go, hmm, maybe our target market here for this uh, brand store is the 18 to 24 year olds. But maybe as well, we wanna look at some other sort of values like hmm, let's look at conversion value. Let's look at the actual uh, ROAS. So looking at the ROAS, it's not as clear cut. Like it goes to really high for that age group. That's great, but it goes down and then boom, 45 to 54, suddenly it goes back up again. That's really, really interesting. And then it's really bad for the 65 plus. So this gives you a bit of indication about um, any sort of bidding adjustments we could use. Maybe we go, hmm, this is actually a really good group to target. Maybe they're part of our target market. Our buyer persona includes these guys as well as these guys. They may have different interests and different intentions and our motivations behind purchasing these products, but we can use that. That's really, really fascinating stuff. Wonder what else we can actually look at. Let's look at conversion value divided by click. That would be interesting. Cool, let's have a look. Yeah, that lines up pretty nicely with the ROAS. That, that might differ depending on, you know, the ROAS is gonna differ depending on the actual competitiveness of those search terms. But yeah, that's 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 totally fine. I wouldn't worry, wouldn't look too much into that. What I'm really interested in is the ROAS and the conversion rate too gives me a bit of an idea of like, are these people just researching or just looking around or are they actually purchasing on this site? So now that you have that information there, you can then go in here and add bidding adjustments based on performance. So they're, they're gonna be all split out here into the ad groups, which is, you know, well, let's go into the campaign view actually. So this, this might be a bit, a bit better, depending on how much data you actually have. So here we can see it split out for the different groups based on, oh, this is fascinating. Uh, for the different campaigns, what might be really good. Can I split this up based on the actual campaign? I don't think so. Campaign name, that's what we want. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Fantastic. Cool. So there we go. Now we're good. So I had to get the, the, the interface right. So now that we've got that set, we can now go to um, looking at it on a campaign level and adjust those bidding adjustments for these different age groups, depending on how they perform. So say if we did do exactly that and we wanted to check how they performed, we can then go into here, let's pull out the actual conversion value divided by cost, the ROAS, and we have it over here. So that's that's huge, this is a branding campaign, that's what happens. But you can see here, just like it shows in the graph, these ones are performing so much better. So you can compare this to the mean, 48, 0.26 is what it is for the whole campaign. So you can go, okay, well, maybe we should add a negative bidding adjustment for these guys. And you could add a small amount, see how that affects the ad ranking because that affects your bid. And that might actually push this higher into more profitability because you're gonna be bidding less for those 
keywords paying less per click and it will reduce the potential volume or it will it will reduce the volume of clicks you get which reduces the volume of conversions but it could potentially push that ROAS higher and I, you know ROAS of 37 is just insane regardless it's a branding campaign we built up this brand really well really really strong um, and a lot of the time this is we have position based um, attribution modeling so or an attribution method so a lot of people are coming through the shopping campaign uh, the, the the broader search campaign and they're converting through the brand campaign so the position-based uh, attribution model is going to pick them up there as well. But regardless, this campaign is super important to get those people at the bottom of the funnel. But what you would do here for any campaign, just like this one, is adjust the bids based on uh, how it's performing. We haven't actually gone in. We've done a bit of bidding adjustment, but this may be out of date. This may be too long ago and things have changed. That's why you need to keep updating it and keep on top of it. Okay, I've gotten really deep into that for age, but you could do the exact same thing for all these other diff different demographics. Same thing is for, for, for gender, parental status, household income. You can go into each of these and see it split up in the different categories that Google provides and make adjustments based on performance. Now, something else I will add is that just like I talked about in the location bidding video that I, that I made recently, and you can check the link to that in the description, is that you can use intuition as well as data. So right now I'm going deep into the data. I love the data. The data really is, you know, I love it because, you know, if you, you, your business is run on numbers, that's how you make profit by having sales minus cost of goods sold minus expenses equals profit. So the more you can do to each of those little levers in that formula, the more profit you can generate, which is going to be better for the longevity of your business and all that sort of stuff. It's the same thing with your, with your ad account. Now you have the data, but you also have your experience and your intuition. For example, you might not have any data in your account yet, but you're targeting with, say for example, a men's grooming product or men's grooming brand store. Well, if you're trying to sell a product to men, you know, you might as well just exclude females from the search. Like you might as well just not even bid on them unless they're buying gifts. In that case, you would have a separate campaign that uses the gifts keyword and then it does target women. But Generally, that's how you would use your gut and intuition. That's a kind of an obvious example, but the same thing, you're going to really understand your buyer persona, your target audience and market after you do your research phase and you communicate and talk to those potential customers and then you can make adjustments here. I often use the gardening example because it's a really, really great uh, niche in terms of a very clear group of people obsessed with their their topic gardening and they often have a lot of problems and then you can come in and create and source products that solve those problems a good example of that is potentially age you know yeah there are a lot of gardeners that are younger but most of the gardeners gardeners i know are kind of much older you know they really like it because they can relax and do gardening they often retire and they want something to do with their time after they don't have a job anymore um you know my grandparents love to do that um so that's something that you could look at just based on intuition the age anyway that's getting deep and deeper into the different stuff you can do um, but that's basically the theory behind doing bid adjustments and how to do them in your account really really simple to actually apply them but learning the theory behind how to make good bidding adjustments that's a whole other thing that you're going to learn through practice. And something I recommend so much is really understanding and learning the algorithm of Google ads. <clears throat> so Google has an algorithm that calculates if you're going to get that click, if you're going to get the position to get that click. And that's basically based on the ad ranking. And the ad ranking is based off your quality score times by the max CPC cost per click that you're willing to pay. I'm going to have another whole video on this topic because once you learn this, it makes all your Google ads management so much easier. And I've literally only a couple of people I've ever met when I've been hiring, uh, when I've talked to other PPC managers that really understand this whole concept. And it is fundamental to doing great PPC work. Anyway, guys, that's enough for today. I'm getting really deep into this topic and I hope that provide a lot of really valuable information for you guys about doing your demographic bidding adjustments. If this video was helpful, you know, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment. If, if you did find it helpful, let me know. I really appreciate the feedback as well as any comments you might have. And if you're not subscribed yet and you want to learn more about growing an e-commerce store, you know, I'm making a lot of videos for you guys all about traffic and email marketing, building your store, finding a target market, all that kind of stuff. So consider subscribing. Uh, otherwise, check out my channel, learn more. It's all there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.